जय शिव नारायण जय शिव नारायण जय शिव नारायण अपने मोबेसेंसेस टू माय पुत्र मास्टर श्री मेरे जगत गुरु सुदर्शन नचारे जी महाराज अपने मोबेसेंसेस टू लॉर्ड श्री रामानुज अपने मोबेसेंसेस टू मदर लक्ष्मी अपने मोबेसेंसेस टू लॉर्ड श्री मेरे नारायण I pay my obeisances to the Purva Acharyas. I pay my obeisances to the twelve avars of the Sri Ramanuj Sampradaya, and I welcome Lord Ram, Mother Sita, and all the devis and devtas that took part in the Ram Lila when Lord Ram was on this planet. And in our universe, those that are watching this discourse locally, nationally, internationally, and I welcome in advance those that are going to be watching this discourse when it is presented in the various groups from around the world. Today. we going to integrate lord ram's appearance on this planet in treta yog and if you calculate treta yog and dwapara yog then it amounts to 2 million years this is the time when lord ram appeared in the material universe and since then the ram leela has been passed down in oral form through the various yogas up until the time it was put in writing the source of the ram leela is valmiki himself it is advisable not to get technical in these various time cycles rather we should take the substance from the ram leela and use that substance to navigate our life to for prosperity and navigate our life until we have the opportunity to sit in the lap of god when and i'm noticing when i surf through the internet or through facebook and in the various groups it has become a norm for people to become technical and i see huge debates some term ugly and vulgar when they get when they try to interpret the vedas technically the vedas are not meant to be investigated technically the vedas are there for you to realize in order to realize the vedas you have to submit yourself through rigorous disciplines before the vedas get in doubt to you the vedas in its very nature is the essence of the supreme personality of god there and for the essence of god 
to enter your consciousness, then you have to have qualifications which are prerequisite to the Vedas. So the Vedas on the surface can be debated, can be used and often abused. It's not going to take mankind anywhere. For one, to inherit Vedic knowledge, then you have to have qualifications as determined by the Supreme Lord Himself. And Lord Sri Narayan, in his form as Lord Sri Krishna, has recent and just over 5,000 years ago has instructed those that want transcendental knowledge to be endowed to them as to submit to a bona fide spiritual master. Then they have to serve the bona fide spiritual master and his institution. And then they can ask their question in a submissive manner. These are absolute avenues of attaining Vedic knowledge. There is no other way you can understand the Vedas. It will always be a mystery because the Vedas is encrypted and this Vedas can be decoded to realization only. The Vedas can be decoded through realization only. So Lord Ram went and suffered a great deal. He went through a lot of misery and those people that are technical would want to know that how God could go through mercy. How can the Supreme Lord, who is the reservoir of pleasure, how can he undergo mercy? When Lord Ram had to leave his material opulence and go into the forest. He showed no emotion. He showed absolutely no emotion where he had to relinquish material opulence. He had to relinquish his throne as a king he had to relinquish his kingdom and to go and live in a forest with wild animals, with lions, with tigers, with beasts, and with rakshas. He showed absolutely no emotion. And if you read the Valmiki Ramayan, when Mother Sita was captured, Lord Ram started lamenting. He cried, he cursed, he was angry, he could not understand. And although Lakshman was his younger brother, and Lakshman asked him, to be reasonable, to be logical, to understand coherently, Lord Ram lost his mind. Lord Ram, the Supreme Lord, Lord Sriman Narayan, lost his mind. Yet, when Lord Ram was asked to leave his material opulences, he took it in his Why you think Lord Ram lost his mind? 
was taken away by Ravi. Remember throughout the Ramayana, Ravana is depicted as ten heads. They call him the ten-headed Ravana. Why did Lord Ram suffer anguish? Why did he go into a state of insanity, depression, anger? He expressed hatred. He was upset with all the devis and devtas that could not protect Sita. Lord Ram go into this state. Mother Sita is part of Lord Ram. Lord Ram exists in a dimension and he is equal to all. And all means all living entities. Whatever love and compassion he has for Mother Sita, he has the same love and compassion for every soul that exists in this infinite number of universes. The same love, the same anguish, the same anger, the same despair Lord Ram exhibited in the forest when Mother Sita was captured by Ravana. Lord Sriman Narayan expresses the same despair, the same depression the same anger when he loses us to the ten-headed Ravna. And the ten-headed Ravna is our ten senses. And when we get lost, when our ten senses take us away from Lord Sriman Narayan. That is how he laments. That is how he cries. That is how he beats his chest. And that is how he feels. And Lord Ram enters this material universe with his consort and the devis and devtas. And he shows us through himself what pains he goes when we are captured by lust, by anger, by hatred, by jealousy, by envy and by grief. This is what Lord Sriman Narayan goes through on a daily basis. And this is his leader. This is his spot. And he expresses himself through this spot. His feelings for his parts and parcels. Every one of us, from Lord Brahma, 
down to the end. Every one of us is loved by Lord Sriman Narayan equally. And as we get lost into the dimension of Ravana, Lord Sriman Narayan in proportion cries out for us his children. And this is the the spot of the Supreme Lord as I've explained that these material universes are created for his spot. In the spiritual universes there is straightforward surrender to the Lord. In the material universes, we surrender to Ravana. Especially in the Skalyu, 99.9% .9 of us have surrendered to our senses. Our senses dictate how we should be pulled and how we should be pushed. Our sense of sight our sense of smell, our sense of hearing, our sense of taste, all these senses have captured the purity of the soul. And there is an incident that I'd like to discuss in today's discourse. And throughout the Ramayana, the most important lesson is principle and commitment. When you give your word, you must be principled, you must keep to your word, and you must live or die by your word. This is the teachings of the Ramayana. And There was a bird, Jaitayu. Was it Jaitayu? Jaitayu, there was an eagle, Jaitayu. And this eagle was a friend of King Dasra. Was an old friend of King Dasra. And he promised Lord Ram that he will perch himself somewhere and he will keep surveillance of Mother Sita. And when Ravana, even before I come to this point, Ravana had a sister. Ravana had a sister and when she saw Lord Ram for the very first time, she became lustful. And notwithstanding the fact that Lord Ram had a wife tormented and captivated by her lust. She wanted Lord Ram by force. She was prepared to kill Mother Sita so that she could satiate her lust for Lord Ram. Unfortunately, the principle that Lord Ram taught in Treta Yu was that every man must have one wife only. This God said how many wives you must have? 
One. One. This way. How many wife? One. One. Twelve. How many wife? One. And how many you got? Two. And Lord Ram said? Two. One. And in keeping this principle, he did not allow Ravana's sister an opportunity and she brought an army for Lord Ram and this army was vanquished and then she went and she lied to her brother and her brother having the same lustful personality when the sister described how beautiful Mother Sita is, then lust went into his mind and captivated by lust, although he sought counsel, lust overcame him and he went and he abducted Mother Sita. And this is what Lord Ram is teaching us. This is what Lord Ram is teaching us. And this is why he lamented and he cried. Because Mother Sita personifies all the living entities in the various universes. And Ravana personifies lust, anger, hatred, jealousy. And when these enemies captures an innocent soul, it is then that the Lord laments for these captured pure souls. So, it was at this point when Ravana was capturing Mother Sita that this great bird attacked the chariot. Ravana had a chariot that should travel through the air. Ravana had a chariot that should travel through the air. And this bird fought valiantly. And Ravana cut off its wings and its talons and this bird was lying on the floor and Ravana captured Mother Sita and took her to Lanka and when Lord Ram found this huge eagle with its wings torn apart and its talons ripped apart. The bird, Tetayu, fulfilled his promise. And he told Ram in which direction Ravna went. And he also told Ram that he fought right up to the end. He fought right up to, he was an old bird and Ravna was young. He was alone and Ravna had an army. But the bird kept up to its principle and it kept up to its word. And it fought in keeping its word and it died in keeping its word. And this is how important this is how important it is to keep your word. And currently, the Sri Narayan Dham itself is undergoing treachery where certain individuals gave their word and now 
because the Sri Narayan Dham has become opulent, and when the word was given, then this property had no value, and now that this property has value in the million, then there is a certain individual that has slipped in the domain of Ravana and now he is changing his word. We are going to continue living within the principles and the parameters of the verdict injunctions. We are going to leave this episode at the holy feet of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Lord Sriman Narayan. The Sri Narayan Dham is going to continue functioning for the purpose it was created and that is to disseminate verdict knowledge to the Western world on timeously. We have no reason to believe that anyone in the domain of Rav Ravna has capacity to shift the Sri Narayan Dham even one millennium. As Lord Ram has shown, notwithstanding all the calamities that he underwent, he went back to his kingdom and he became king. And notwithstanding all the calamities that the Sri Narayan Dham is going to undergo, we have absolute faith that the Sri, Ramayan, the Sri Narayan Dham will remain intact. Jai Sri Narayan.